DSA kindergarten and first graders. This week we will be doing these hot dogs and cool cats to go over warm and cool colors. So I'm going to show you how to make your dog and your cat and then how to color it as well. And we'll get to find out if you're team dog or team cat. So here we go. First thing you're going to do is get your piece of paper and a pencil. I am using a black marker so you can see what I'm doing. You can trace it later and then color it. So I'm gonna start by folding my paper in half. If you put your hands on both sides of the paper and you bring them together, then line up your edges as best you can Hold it tight with one hand and take the other hand and slide across. You'll get a nice crease in the middle. And then open it back up and flatten it out. On one side, we're going to make our dog. On the other side, we're going to make our cat. So to start the dog, I'm gonna start by making two circles toward the top of the paper. Not at the very top, because I want some room for the dog's head. You can make your eyes however you want. Again, remember that yours can be different than mine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. And be creative, make it your own. If you want to give your dog eyelashes, that is fine. You can add whatever you like to it. After you've done the eyes, make an upside down U shape for the nose, and then a little bump and another bump for the bottom of the nose. Go ahead and color that in. If you want to make it colorful, you can do that as well. It is up to you what you like. And always remember, if I am going too fast for you, you can pause the video at any time. From the bottom of the nose, you're gonna make a big curve line going this way, and then a second big curved line going this way. Then you can put three or four or five little dots on the cheeks for where the whiskers would grow. And I want my dog to have his tongue sticking out, so I made a curved line, and I'm gonna put a little straight line through it for the tongue. Now I have my dog's face finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the ears the feet and the body. On the side, I'm gonna make two straight lines next to the eyes, then a big, long U for each ear. Once I have my ears, you're gonna connect with a big, long, curved line across the top of the head, and then down here at the bottom, make two ovals for the feet, and then make a bump, bump, bump for the toes. Same thing on this side, bump, bump, bump for the toes. Then to connect the body, you just draw a line from the ear down to the foot, and a foot, a line across from one foot to the other. So now we have our dog finished. We're going to start on our cat. So if you are a cat lover, this side is for you. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can be creative, add things if you want. You could put a little bow in the dog's hair. It is up to you. So I'm gonna start with the eyes again, but the cat eyes are a little different. So I'm gonna start by making two lines and then big curved lines to connect. Then inside the cat's eyes, I'm almost gonna make like a diamond shape, but they're a little bit curved and color that part in. If you want it to be different, remember, it is your project. You get to decide what you want it to look like. I want my cat to have eyelashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyelashes on my cat. Then for the nose, I'm going to draw a triangle. Make a horizontal line and then a letter V for the nose. Just like the dog, I'm gonna make the muzzle, but the cat is much smaller. 
for the muzzle. So I'm just gonna put two small curved lines. Now I'm gonna make the whiskers with three diagonal lines on each side, just like this. <clears throat> now the cat's ears, I want to be sticking up. So I'm going to make two triangles above the eyes. Start with two lines and then like a letter A, connect your lines. So now I have my cat's face all done. The cat's face is gonna be a little different than the dog. So I'm gonna actually connect with a zigzag line and then go all the way around my cat's face with the zigzag line. At the bottom, I'm gonna do the feet similar to the dogs. So start with two ovals and then make three points. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then same thing, connect from the head to the feet and foot to foot. So now that you have your dog and your cat drawn, we can get started with our colors. Remember, we're making hot dogs and cool cats. So when we say hot dogs, I don't mean the kind you eat. I mean the warm colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my markers and I'm pulling out colors that are warm, like the sunshine. So think of reds, oranges, yellows, those colors that make you think of a hot summer day. So I'm pulling out some of those colors. You don't have to have all of these colors. If you only have red, orange, or yellow, that's fine. If you only have crayons, you can use crayons, you can use watercolors, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use markers, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the markers kind of like paint. So I've pulled out a lot of warm colors, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my coloring. So all you're gonna do is just color in a little space with one of your warm colors, and then another little space. Make them touch each other so that they will blend together. And you're just gonna keep going until you have your whole dog filled up with warm colors. Notice I'm not coloring a really big section with one color because I want my dog to have lots of colors and blend those colors together. Remember, your warm colors are reds, oranges, and yellow. Then on your cat, you're going to use cool colors. The cool colors are like water. Think of blues, greens, purples. Again, you can use crayons, markers, watercolors, oil pastels. Whatever you have to use is fine as long as you draw your dog and cat. If you only have pencils, you can just add designs on your dog and cat. That is up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with some cool colors on my cat. Remember, think blues, greens, purples, and I'm not worried about making my coloring as nice and neat as we normally do because we're going to turn this into paint. Now this will only work to turn into paint if you are using markers. If you are not using markers, then you can just color it and leave it when you're finished. So now that I have, now let's pretend my dog and my cat are all colored in. So I would have it completely colored and then I would do the background. For the background, we're going to use neutral colors. And I am using crayons for the background. I have these little broken crayons. Neutral colors are brown, gray, black, white, and gold. So I have some browns and a gray and a gold crayon. And I'm all you're gonna do in the background, same kind of thing, is fill in all the white space around 
your cat and dog with your browns, your grays, your golds, your blacks, and your whites. So pretend I had it all filled up. So now we're going to turn our cat and dog into paint. I have some water and a paintbrush, that's all you need. You're going to dip your brush in the water and then just put the water on top of your markers. You're not going to see it change right away. It takes a little while for it to change. But as you put the water on top, you're going to notice that the, the markers kind of start to run together. And you really wanna put a good amount of water on top of your cat and dog. So I'm not really painting like normal. I'm kind of just bouncing my brush so that it's putting a lot of water on top of those markers. The longer that you let it sit with water on top of it, the more those markers are going to bleed and blend together and make your cat and your dog almost look like we kind of tie dyed them. So I'm just putting the water on top and you can start, you can even start to see where the markers are blending and bleeding together. And then by the time you're finished and you have your hot dog and your cool cat, whoop, you can see where it bled through the paper. It will look something like this. So this one is all finished and you can tell that the markers bled together and blended to make that hot dog with those warm colors and the cool cats. I can't wait to see your submissions. I hope you enjoy this project. I'm excited to see what you create. Remember, be creative and make it your own.